Hi guys and ladies, I did a video on blackened bass a couple of years ago. I only had about five viewers at the time. Well, I want to do it again because it tasted great, it was shockingly easy, and I'd like more of you to join me in the fun. So let's go catch some bass. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. What I have here is a 1 8 ounce Johnson Beetle Spin spinnerbait. This lure has been around since I was a young man 87 years ago. Now, it ought to catch more than just bass, but I'm out only for small bass, the ones under 12 inches, and the ones we need to cull from the lake. He's little, very little, but this is the kind I have to remove from the lake, according to the biologist who did an electroshock survey. So let's eat him. Very little, but edible. Couple of fillets each side. There are just too many of these. We've got to get them out of the lake. <laughs> Probably too big. Chubby, 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 chubby alert. Yeah, it's about 13 inches, just over. We have to return them to the lake to get bigger. Hmm. He might be too big, too. Yeah, we'll measure him. Aha! 11 and a half. I get to keep him. Okay, perfect 11 inch fish. <laughs> I got a little tangle in my line, but I got a fish too. I love Diet Pepsi. Another perfect eater. All right. Their tummies are big because of the cicada bugs they're eating. Our beetle spin did really well today. Looky here, I've got about eight nice bass little ones that's going to give me over a pound and a half of fillets. Let's get in the house and fillet them for our blackened bass. So here it is the next day. I managed to obtain two pounds of small fish fillets from our beetle spin bass outing yesterday. I'm going to prepare a pound and a half of it, which is what I have here. The rest I've frozen. But first, let's do a quick cream spinach side dish. I have this on low heat. First thing I'm going to do is melt three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to try to stuff the entire 16 ounce bag of spinach in here now. You need a big skillet. 
So you can see these buttery leaves are wilting down. So the skillet is on 200 or less. Let's put in one half brick of cream cheese. That's four ounces. So our brick is melting down. So the first half is all melted and all I'm doing is adding the other half and I'm going to melt that down. So the second half is melted. Now all I'm going to do is add about six tablespoons of this really high quality Parmigiano Reggiano. There's three. Oh yeah. Now a goodly amount of fresh cracked pepper. So what's really cool is you could let this thicken to any consistency you want. You don't want to get it too thick. Look how creamy good this is with no flour. Low carb. Yay, we're outside. I'm preheating the gas grill to high. I've got a cast iron skillet here and I'm going to get it roaring hot. And if you do this inside, Turn off the smoke detectors. I've got unsalted melted butter here and all I'm going to do is paint each of these fillets. Side one first and then side two. I got a generous coating of butter on here and now I've got this Cajun seasoning. It's McCormick's and salt is quite a bit down on the list. We don't want this overly salty. We want spice. So here we go. Let's sprinkle. We're going to do both sides. So now I'm going to flip them over and do the other side. Butter, seasoning, butter, seasoning. I use an entire stick of butter. Now I'm just seasoning side two. It's all it's giving me is 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be hotter, but we could still do this. No problem. Woo. Rip roaring hot. <coughs> That's seasoning. I'm going to let it go two and a half minutes. It's been two and a half minutes. Let's see if I can flip these. Wow. Yeah. Yes! Okay, black and best. Yeah! Whew. I thought they would be stuck, but they're not. Now, one and a half minutes more on the other side. We'll do it to a second batch, and that's it. Well, while our fish is keeping warm in the oven, I might as well let you all know that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over here for dinner tonight. You, you know, she never mentions getting married, even though we've been seeing each other for 50 years now. I, I may not have any money, but I still have a lot I could share, uh, like, for example, uh, my trailer house here. Uh, I don't know. Well, here we are once again with that beautiful, famous celebrity uh, food critic and restaurant reviewer, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for coming out to my humble hovel. And uh, you had a chance to partake of my meal tonight, which uh, consisted of a buffet of blackened bass that I bagged with a beetle spinach. <laughs> and? And what did you think of it? It was very good, and the cream spinach was excellent, too. Oh, the cream spinach. Yes. yes. It was all very good, and we enjoyed it outdoors. Thank it's you. It was very tasty. Thank yes, you. Yes, we ate outdoors yes. today. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Miss Cheeks, uh, oh, I, I can say Lulu, right? Yes. Uh, 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 did you ever think, wouldn't it be nice to have a partner for life to share everything with? Mm, yes, yes, but when you're single, you get to keep all the money. Oh. Um, can I have a hug? 